Hey everybody, my name's Dan Fur, and welcome to Synth School. Today I want to teach you about LFOs. So LFO stands for Low Frequency Oscillator, which can be kind of confusing because, as we learned before, an oscillator is what produces the sound on a synth. But an LFO doesn't actually produce any sound at all. Similarly to an envelope, all an LFO does is it's another source of modulation, basically another way to change the sound over time. The main difference between an LFO and an envelope is that an LFO follows a consistent loop of modulation, whereas an envelope follows a trajectory that goes up and down essentially. So let's take a look at what an LFO actually sounds like so you can understand them a bit better. So as you can see, with the LFO, the filter cutoff now follows a simple up and down pattern giving us a wub 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 sort of sound. And that's basically the main difference between an LFO and an envelope. See, the LFO keeps continually going in the same pattern, the wub 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 pattern, but the envelope follows more of a trajectory. It goes up with the attack, and then down with the decay, and then sort of fades out with the release. So the envelope is always consistently moving in one direction, whereas the LFO is more of a pattern that consistently loops. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something about LFOs today. My name's Dan Fur. If you ever have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to answer them. Have a good one. Cheers. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay up to date with all the new synth tips and tricks. Cheers.